Too often it seems as though Olivia Munn gets overlooked in a big way despite the fact that she's a good actress. She knows what she's doing, seems to be front and present, but still doesn't get enough attention. In a lot of movies she takes on a role that seems somehow expendable, and even if it isn't there's usually another couple of big-name actors around to steal the spotlight just a bit, and it happens again. Those movies that she's in and does get to be front and center for all of it seem great since she's a fun personality and is quite interesting to watch since she does have a range of skills that allows her to be one of the more crucial members of a cast and not so easily replaced. While she's had a couple of clunkers as of late her career is still solid enough to keep her in the spotlight, though it'd be great to see a couple of her roles take on greater prominence as time goes on. Here are a few of her best movies. Number 5. X-Men Apocalypse. I know the kind of mutants you're looking for. It's hard to say that the this was such a walking dumpster fire of a movie, but Silek's appearance was nothing short of awesome for the few minutes she actually had to establish her character. In the comics this character is nothing short of epic since she has the kind of powers and martial skills that make her an absolute threat to anyone that's standing in her way. But the fact that Beast was able to handle her was kind of a hard thing to watch. Silek has the kind of potential that makes her one of the most dangerous mutants around, but when she became a minion of Apocalypse, it was kind of hard to watch. Number 4. Office Christmas Party. Don't listen to this guy, he's Mr. Fun, he'll do anything for the party. From disaster usually comes more disaster since destruction just kind of works that way initially. But when the company that Josh works for and runs at the behest of his CEO is on its way out the door, the CEO's branch manager decides to have a Christmas party that is nothing short of chaotic and bound to get out of control in the best and worst ways. People all over the company find that they simply don't care and start trashing the place after it's revealed by the CEO that she offered Josh a job at the New York branch, which he turned down. From start to finish this is pretty much a laugh riot. Number 3. Deliver Us From Evil. What makes this movie even creepier is that it was supposedly based on actual events that occurred. While there's no doubt that there's a lot of dramatization that takes place, it's still worrisome to think that such a thing could happen anywhere in the world, since the realm of fantasy and horror is supposed to stay within the boundaries of fiction. Of course trying to doubt that weird things do happen from time to time is kind of impossible, since now and again, the veil between this world and any others that are out there seems to thin a bit, and the human mind seems fit to remind us by allowing us to see beyond for a split second or more. Number 2. The Predator. That's not a predator, that's a sports hunter. Sorry? A predator kills its prey to survive, I mean. You knew they had to up the ante eventually when it came to the Predator, but it almost seemed like this one needed something extra to make it that much better. Still, it was a fun thrill ride when it came out, and to think that a Predator had been engineered to be tougher, stronger, and more durable because of the previous interactions with humans is kind of flattering really. It would mean that the Predators had started taking humans at least somewhat serious and deduced that they were capable of fighting when really pushed. Of course stacking the deck is the Predator way, so the challenge is only going to get tougher. Number 1. The Baby Makers. No, Tommy's definitely not faking it, but something's wrong and I'm kind of worried. You wouldn't think that a lot of people would see infertility funny, but when it happens to be due to the man things do take kind of a comical turn, especially when the man in question attempts to rob a sperm bank with the help of his friend. That kind of thing can only lead to funny moments and the kind of humor that might be sick and off-key at times, but is still hilarious to make some people do a serious spit take, since it makes you think of how many people would be crazy enough to try such a thing. That being said, one can't help but think how desperate a couple might become if they found out that they can't have a baby naturally. She's as funny as she is talented when it comes to acting, and she's proven it many times over.